Hello Pokemon Go trainers, it's a Seahawks fan. We have gotten the teaser for a Gumi community today coming to Pokemon Go and a good Gudra. Very excited to have its Hande. Definitely one of the more expected Pokemon. Was definitely no guarantee, but definitely one of the long awaited calm days. Now we have the shiny in the game. It's gold. It's awesome. It was released at last year's Go Fest. So about a year wait for the comedy, which is not too bad from the shiny release. And it is a powerful dragon. It is on the bulkier side. And there's actually two forms. Hisuian, which we don't have in the game yet. It does gain the steel typing, which... The August typing that is insane. Now it's definitely uh, on the bulkier side of a Pokemon as a dragon, and we have a good move set, good moves with it already. In uh, Dragon Breath, and then options of Muddy Water, Aqua Tail, Power Whip, and Draco. So well rounded. Although there are some moves that it could be getting, maybe Body Slam. That be not really good, but. Could be worse. Maybe another port. Actually, Sludge Wave, I think we also get on. It's also available. Counter, that would be interesting. I, I doubt that would be better, but why not? Who knows? Trump would be terrible, but. Yeah, I mean, lots of moves. Stomping, stomping champ, Tantrum. I don't think we're, we're going to get that with Gudra. Black side, who knows. But it definitely, it seems the uh, expected move would be Dragon Claw. That would be a nice, cheap Dragon Charge attack compared to Draco. Although there's lots of other uses for the other Charge attacks, but Dragon Claw Aquatil would be nice. Maybe just Dragon Claw and then Power Whip. Would be maybe the recommended move set if you are going to use it. But very excited. Maxes out around like 3900, 3950 CP around there, which is exciting. Surian is a good, pretty decent Pokemon, nothing crazy, a very bulky Pokemon. And you gotta evolve Sligoon in rain. And uh Pokemon Go. Oh, Marini? Nope, nope. That would be cool, but Gumi! The shiny is so pretty. Such a lovely little dragon. But yeah, Gudra. Already have my shiny Gudra built. It's not the perfect IVs, but it, it works. Yeah, around 3900 CP is where Gudra is at level 50 and perfect. And thankfully for me, I already have the Hundo. Although I would not mind getting another Hundo, especially if we are going to have the act option to evolve into his Syrian form to get both those. And I'm definitely going to be grinding up XL candies going to give a lot of effort, potentially even playing after the 3 hour window, and to best increase the chance at getting XLs with this dragon is Mega Evolve a Dragon, Garchomp, Latios, Latias. Now, if you don't have a max Mega level dragon, unfortunate, but being able to decrease the wait time of free Megas, I should Mega Evolve one of these right now, both of them, but let's look at the, the threes I have. So at Mega Level 3, you get a 25% chance increase for percent, extra percent for getting XL candies when catching Pokemon of the Mega type. And uh, I mean, Mega Rayquaza, if you raided the GoFest, 
last year, then you should hopefully have max mega level. And if not, you may have some time to reach the max mega level. Although Garchomp was a very easy raid day. That was not too long ago. You may have that. May be important to at least get to level 2 if you want efficiency. Because now it's going to be the golden time to get the XLs for Gudra. 296 is what you want, as is what you need for level 50 if you are unfamiliar. 360, level 50 for Shadow. And I mean, that would be nice to prepare for. Maybe a year plus away for Shadow Gudra, but why not be prepared with the Kande? I mean, it's a gold shiny, it looks nice. But I hope you are excited for the con day. I am, as you can tell, hopefully. I I hope you get all the shinies you want. It is exciting. Going to be probably the most exciting con day for the rest of the year. In general, for most players, it's just a good enough Pokemon. It's useful in Great League, Ultra League, even Master League. But it's not used much in Master League as it's... Something you really have to try to get. But with this Kande, I imagine if it'll be an increase. But there are Randy Lore modules that you need to evolve. I think you can evolve if it is rainy. I it was actually rainy yesterday and I would it would would have been nice to uh, check, but it's okay. Although if you don't have any you should be able to, Niantic should uh, have a research for free that gives you one. That should be easy enough as they do with other Kandes that require rain, uh, lore modules. But I hope you have a good time with the Kande when it gets here. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for daily Go Battle League videos and other Pokemon Go content. Goodbye.